Hello and welcome back to Stalker Escape from Pripyat. Um, I have just spent a ridiculous amount of time going through my inventory and sorting everything out and trying to figure out which guns I want to keep and which I want to toss away. Not toss away, but you know what I mean. Like, uh, which ones I want to prioritize. And I found in my inventory this um, S1G, um, which seems like a decent weapon. Um, it's a, it's a sniper rifle and it has a built-in scope, which is, I mean, it's not the best scope, but it is a scope and I like a scope. Um, it's got pretty good handling, uh, and accuracy. Not, uh, it's not as much damage as the SV SVT. However, it, one, uh, benefit, one wildly better benefit that it has over the SVT is look how much ammo I have. It takes 5.56.45, and I have two magazines. So I've gone ahead and ditched the AKS um, and the SVT in favor of uh, this gun. I think this would be a uh, suitable replacement, especially since we actually have ammunition for it. I have tons of ammunition for it. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, we have two magazines, and the magazines take 20, I think, each. One of them might actually take more. Um, I might have to check that how much how much ammo do we have in that other magazine we have 20 in that one we have 30 in the other one so we this thing is quite nice uh, oh god oh my wait that's our friend uh not not really my idea man this just keeps happening i actually got attacked like twice through the night and oh man i really don't want to do more inventory management but i'm going to do a quick pause here hold on all right not not my idea of how i wanted to start the video but you know what i guess it's better than doing a ton of inventory management which i just did more of two minutes literally two minutes in and we're we get onslaught by bandits um i wanted to do a quick i guess a quick tour you know like i do a lot of inventory management and i'm juggling a lot of different balls in the form of like different weapons and stuff but i it is actually worth it it is actually like highly worth it because look at look at our arrangement here um like when i made the decision like hey i might want to try this sniper rifle uh, i was able to use those rifle repair kits on it to get it to you know full condition i was able to swap out you know whatever it needed like i just had it um like i what i tend to do is prioritize like if if anything is like at 65 or above condition i'll keep it and i'll throw it in this box over here and everything else i'll sell um so i make a little bit of money and in the meantime i accrue a small like collection of parts and uh you know whenever i want to like try a new weapon or like if something looks appealing then i'll just sw swap it out uh, the only thing that I you should keep on you is like the means to repair your parts if uh, you know if they're slightly damaged but like look at this gun all the parts are kind of like with the you know close to 80 percent um, some of them are at 90 because I just have the parts to swap out um, which is you know it's great like your your the efforts and your organization is actually kind of like rewarded in this game which is really cool um that's that's something i really appreciate uh so where is our reward okay so is this here scout the area there and um stalker's buddy was kidnapped by a gang okay so that's where we have to go to hand in this guy who's been following me around and to, to his credit he's been doing a pretty good job of staying alive although he did shoot at a helicopter again um in the middle of the night um so that wasn't ideal but uh hey a little trial by fire this this gun's actually really nice uh it dropped those guys pretty pretty easily and it handles really nice like i can i was able to shoot and the, the recoil is uh quite low i also i do have um some body parts i could i should probably have upgraded it um but i didn't so this is uh this is before i even upgrade the gun so it's probably got some improvements still uh that we could see um but yeah i'm like i got what, what can i say like what how many episodes are we in now like eight nine 
close to and i'm i'm really enjoying this game i'm i know i'm still like in the cordon and the garage and i'm not really you know i i i, I would say that i have improved um mostly i've been trying to learn the systems the the methods um and uh, the mechanics and i have been learning those a little bit by bit um, learning how to maintain our weapons, learning what to prioritize, how to break things down, how to, you know, what can be sold. Maybe I haven't improved, who knows? N never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, all right. Well, I saw those guys and I was like, oh. This is going to be a mistake, but at least they're not military, right? They were for sure bandits. Um, I'll be right back. Ugh. We're back here again. Oh my God. It's uh, one of those episodes where, you know, take one step forward and two steps back or take two steps forward and then reload three steps back. I don't know. Two steps back. Ah, who cares? Anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would say that I, I haven't things have improved for the most part I, I think the next step is maybe getting some better uh, armor um, Maybe some better equipment for the most part. Um, I, I don't dislike what we have, but I think we could improve I seem to die very quickly. Although I mean like realistically. I'm being shot at by like Several people I should die fairly quickly. So I you know, I don't know maybe Maybe th there is no point where you get to the, you know, you get to that X that kind of like RPG moment where things that used to take you out before uh, no longer do. I don't know. I am gonna kill these guys though. A reason, except to you know get some loot. Yeah, I like this gun. Is it perfect? Does it uh, drop them in one? No. But the de the scope is decent enough. If I can at least shoot them without them being able to fire back at me right away, then, you know, that's that's good enough for now. Uh, we're going to be doing inventory management again. We got another um what do you call it kevlar insert which is nice i did pick up a pistol uh i did pick up a pistol that i might end up using um like i said diversification i think is a more or less a, you know general generally speaking a good thing um and the reason i picked this one up because it came with a suppressor and uh, if I'm gonna use a pistol, I may as well use one that has this, you know, comes with a suppressor. Um, okay, let's. Ooh, that's an interesting gun. Adar carbine. I mean, I don't. I'm, I'm good. I really don't want to. Like, I've, you know, at a certain point, maybe you can make incremental upgrades or improvements. But like, why do that to yourself? It's just, it's a lot of effort. You know, even this feels like a lot of effort. If I'm being honest. Um, it is worth it for sure. And look at that. We got some more five uh, 556 Pick up a match. Why not? Oh, there's a lot of bodies here. I dropped a lot of bodies You can I honestly the fact that I'm doing a lot of inventory management I think is a good sign It shows that you know, we're killing things at a rate in which it is hard to keep up. Oh, that gun disappeared. That sometimes happens, you know? That's fine. I, I don't need to disassemble yes an yet another thing. Also, I found out, I mean, I probably have already found this out at least once, that uh, the sharpening stones will uh, maintain your tools. Um, mostly the multi-tool and the, mo the reason the multi-tool is important is, is that is what you use to disassemble everything so Every time I'm disassembling bullets um, You know, we're 
we're using up the multi-tool and so rather than buying another multi-tool oh, we have to scout that area out oh, it's probably someone there um it's cheaper much cheaper to buy a sharpening tool especially for the, due to the fact that the, the sharpening tool tends to have a few uses in it um which is nice you pick up you know things here and there like little ways to you know uh save a, a couple bucks here and there and then eventually you're you're actually making a bit of money um i i think i'm like maybe finally at the point where i can start making some really good money and maybe a look at buying something important uh okay whoops what i'm likely gonna do here is um i think i won't have enough time to actually do what is this oh i have to scout that as well what is that what are we doing classified information oh yeah and then i dare why would you uh what mm, fine i don't think we'll have enough time to fit agriprom in this episode um probably we're just going to whoops get away from the radiation now um it, hand this dude in and then maybe make our way over and see what we can see um but i'm thinking i'm thinking it may be a shorter episode this time we'll see all right dude uh oh all right anomalies everywhere right now survive another day is my motto yo that's a good motto i like that motto you know what my motto is reload your gun you know what my second motto is kill that thing what is that thing please die oh my god some of these mutants really are truly revolting all right third third motto is kill let's cut that up take the stuff take the good stuff i'm pretty uh content with her well i guess we're at 60 kilograms having 20 kilograms of spare room for picking up stuff isn't bad i feel like i've already picked up some stuff and we have a, yeah we've got quite a bit of stuff um so i i feel pretty good about like where we're at with our inventory i definitely want to finally get to a point where you know i i can take combats on pretty reliably it maybe maybe that can never happen maybe you always have to like reload uh, once or so um you know it is it is what it is job is done eight thousand and mixed nuts that feels like not worth it i even just traveling there and back my dude <sighs> Search the stash. Location Agriprom. I mean, I am going to Agriprom. Any other work you want done? No? Okay. Wanna... Man, I really wish some of y'all could come with me on these insane missions um, that you're sending me on. Uh, I could... Send... So you do need fuel for this army kettle i found out um it is worth it i mean you it, like with some fuel the kettle and um some vodka you can purify your your mutant meat and i am finally i think at the point where i don't feel like i'm starving all the time any work you need done all right no never mind um so i'm gonna go see if sidravik has some fuel shouldn't be too expensive if it's expensive i'm gonna break his arms how about that tired of his crap honestly i keep expecting there to be someone behind me following me because there's you know that, that dude that escort quest went on went on for a while Eight thousand for freaking pen my dude i'm not eight hundred eight thousand jesus uh you don't have any fuel you do have a bear detector how much is that Fifteen thousand. tempting i do have fifteen thousand. uh i don't know 
Oh, and you have a... You do have a magazine for the 103. I guess I could have used the, the 103. What kind of ammo did that use again? 762.39. Uh, that ship has sailed, I think. I'm good with this, because this, this thing has... Like, I have a lot of ammo for it. Um, this gas mask looks tempting. I, I just, like, I, I do want a better helmet. I'm tired of dying. Do I have any fuel? Are these... Do these matches count as fuel, I wonder? Hmm. I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing any fuel. You know what we do... Could use, though, is another one of these. Close to 3,000. You absolute bastard. Okay, fine. Fine. Can you... Would you buy my stuff, at least? You'll buy my mutant parts. Okay. You know what? Sidrovic, you're... You're not such an awful guy, I think. We'll sell this stuff. We'll sell these things. Sell this here magazine. I'm gonna sell the 9mm. I could disassemble it, but I really don't wanna anymore. You know, I don't wanna have to deal if I don't... If I can't. If I don't have to. Alright. On our way. We're... I'm gonna do... We're gonna head over to Agriprom, finally. Where is that? Oh, I have to go to Garage. I think that's why I went to the swamps in the first place. Is because I didn't want to go all the way to the garage. I said I keep calling it the garage, the garbage. Um... Yeah, let's... Tell you what, let's go here. Village Ruins. Because there's a stash there. And uh, we can pick up the stash. I know that's maybe that's a little cheaty, but you'll have to forgive me. I've been walking everywhere forever, and it's been a nightmare. So we'll uh, we'll go and pick up the stash, and then we'll head over to Agriprom, and then I'm gonna scout out a bit. I know there's a s sewer entrance somewhere. I don't know where. Um, we might have to try stealth as an option. Excuse me? Oh my... Ah! Really weird seeing actual rats. What the... That is a giant rat, my dude. Is this... Oh, okay, we're, we're jammed. Okay. Well, hopefully this means more meat. Did, are you guys, like, praising me or something? Hmm. Article unlocked mutants rats. Hmm. You just listen to a shotgun in the Great Swamp. Listen, my dude, don't don't be listening to my shotgun, okay? You, you, this is it's none of your business. Oh, that's a renegade, also. I don't I don't want to have to deal with that. Nothing, nothing useful here. Okay. All right, let's go grab that stash. Plan A. We're in some deep shit here, boys. That's fine. You're a bandit. I hope you are in deep shit, honestly. I do not- I wish nothing but harm on you, honestly. Um, where is the stash? It should be, like, right here? Where is it? It's not on top, I hope. Oh, it's underneath. Oh, that's novel. Wait, did it... Why didn't it pick that up? Okay. That's, uh, that's interesting. I, what did I get here? A weapon crate? Old weapon crate. That's 12 kilograms. I'm now lugging that around with me. Ugh. That means we have to go back to the farm and I have to do more inventory management. Tired of it. Yo. Stop it. 
it's my own fault really why did we have to do the stash i i had to know that the stash could have uh loaded me up with stuff all right what's what's the easy uh, answer here um there's a bunch of stuff i could do at our clear sky base but like my lock picks are back at the farm all right fine we're just we're just gonna go back to the farm there's still hostiles around are there you're not talking about those rats i hope this guy Ugh. Okay. We're gonna. What do you mean there's still hostile? There's no hostiles around. Oh, oh my God! Really? Those are not hostiles. They're 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 actually kind of cute. I mean, they're not attacking me. Those should not count as hostiles. I knew I knew it would have it was gonna be a mistake turning on the uh, fast travel because I knew that as soon as it was on I was going to exploit it and uh, you know lo and behold I am exploiting it. What there? Apparently there are hostiles nearby. Maybe I should just go to Agroprom. I mean, I still have 10 kilograms of space left. We can work with that, right? What I should just do is go away from the hostiles. I'm getting, uh, you know, almost oblivion vibes. You cannot fast travel while there are hostile forces nearby. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the same thing again. There are no hostiles nearby. Okay, fine, whatever. So I can't fast travel this time. We'll have to walk. I mean, heck it. Let's just go to uh, Agriprom. Whatever. It's honestly uh, not a terrible... You know, it, it'll get us there. We've got, like, I've got everything I need. I just don't like carrying all of this extra stuff. I guess we can drop s some stuff, but, like, you know how it goes. None Ow. Damn it. That's why you don't walk with your uh, inventory open. Was that a bloodsucker? That sounds like a blood sounded like a blood sucker. around here somewhere where 
I know there's a bloodsucker around here. I know they were here. I couldn't see them because they're invisible. But, okay, well, whatever. Um, Agriprom. Jesus. Okay. Let's uh, eat a nice loaf of moldy bread. It really does look like garbage. Wait, was that toxic bread? I guess um, I, I can take off the bracelet and equip this and that'll give me a little bit of extra walking, a little bit of extra breathing room. Okay, uh, this is this is gonna be hell. Let's make sure our magazines are nice and crispy full. Chalk, chalk a block full of bullets. All right, good enough. Save. Here we go. Agriprom. Seems like a rat is getting wild around here. Yeah? Tell me more. Okay. All signs point to this being a disaster. Let's see. So, first things first, I mean, there's a great... I have to assume purple is good. What, what kind of quest do we have there? Living Legends Underground. Okay, so that's the main quest. There's another quest over here. Search the stash. There's another stash. A lot of stash missions. This is a bed, so in theory, this is actually a base... A, a good base? Question mark? Oh, God. I mean, hard to convince me of that, honestly. You know, the real... I don't know if there's a, an antagonist in the Stalker series, but if there is, it's a, it's a helicopter for sure. The important thing here is we cannot be seen... Is that a poltergeist? That looks like a poltergeist. Okay. So we've got a poltergeist. I want to check out... Uh-oh. Something is seeing me. I want to check out this base over here and see if... Um, it's actually one I can make use of. Something... Like... Generally speaking, bad is seeing me. That bar in the minimap only fills up if something bad is seeing me. Size storm coming soon. Oh, that's just dandy. Uh, this looks like a military base. These look like military goons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean that that really had all of the readings all over it of of a bad move. You know, I just um it's kind of the nature of the game is I I have to try before I find out, you know? Uh so we're back here. Okay, so I mean that bed there really kind of tripped me up. So how in the world would one get in there? I'll just... So wait a minute, wait a minute. Agriprom underground. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Is there an underground near that stash there? I don't think that, that there is. But there is one there. So, I'm assuming what we need to do is go underground here. Tractor. I wouldn't mind trying to get that purple stash, just to see if it's even possible. And, you know, if it's not, that's fine. We'll find out. 
Bush Whacker Anomaly. Hope that Poltergeist isn't around here still. But knowing that there is an underground and, and that there are many entrances is actually very uh, encouraging. Wow, that thing straight up did not care. Pretty sure that is a poltergeist and I'm pretty sure it will come back. Wish I had something a little bit more subtle than the uh, shotgun. Here it comes. Man, it's a good thing these rats are bad. Okay. Poltergeist is really giving me a hard time, but it hasn't done any damage to me, so there's, there's that to be thankful for. Let's grab the stash. Where is it? Damn it. I might need to get my RF. No, the RF receiver generally, they don't have a thing on the map. Unless the, the tractor itself is... Like, I'm wondering if I can get in this. No. Doesn't seem like it. What, what's the deal here? Tractor. Metalworking inventory. Um, hmm. Night terrified rodent meat for the butcher. Oh, I should be doing that, huh? Uh, search the stash. Procure flesh meat. Really didn't do that, huh? Get the jellyfish artifact. Find a battery artifact for the fanatic. I think that fanatic is actually dead. Living legend underground hideout. Last dawn. Destroy the military beast. Uh, meet with man gun. In Rostock. Lost signal. Tasked by a clear sky stalker to trace his missing squad and find out what happened to them. Head over to the truck cemetery. Okay, well, that's scarce supplies. Professor Clencher requires antidote, classified information. Okay, that's not it. Deliver PDA to Nimble in Zaton. What is this stash? How come I can't find it? Oh, it's inside the tractor. Whoops. Yeah, it's right there. Ah. Uh. Wait, is that a drug making kit? That's a drug making kit. Worth it. Let's just try and get out of this alive. Not going to bother with anything else here. 
These stashes are always worth it. Why can't I get in there now? Come on. It is not exactly a convenient stash. Okay, grab all the stuff. There isn't really anything else worth keeping and I need to prioritize some inventory space. So we'll just grab the rest of that. I don't like the gunshots and if it's military and it un most certainly is military, we don't want to have to fight that. So I think I'm gonna head toward, uh, we'll head Northwest towards that underground. I'm hoping the underground is a convenient-ish way of traveling around. As soon as I get to the underground, I'm gonna end the episode. We cannot fight any military. If we fight any military, then um, we are doomed to helicopter hell. So that's a big nope for me. Okay, this is an interesting entrance. Can I even get down here? Oh yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, so this is a, a new chapter. I've never gone to the underground. I've been to the underground in Shadows of Chernobyl, um, but I, that's kind of where I stopped playing because it just felt really punishing and I didn't have the equipment necessary. I feel like I do have the equipment to make this possible, make this a little bit um, less punishing. I should at least be able to take on like bloodsuckers and bandits. So that's the good news. Um, but anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I'll end it there. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.